Retargeting is one of the most powerful tools when it comes to Facebook ads. Being able to show your ads to users that have already been on your website, or maybe they've watched a few of your videos, engaged on your Instagram. Maybe they've gone all the way down to checkout, but then they bounced off and they didn't actually purchase from you. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can retarget those users in the new world of AI and break down everything that you need to know when it comes to Facebook ads retargeting. Hi everyone, it's Spencer here. And if you're new to the channel, I run a growth focus agency by the name of Easy A Media, where we actually help accelerate the growth of brands looking to get to a million dollars plus per month. And as I mentioned in the beginning, I'm gonna be breaking down how Facebook ads retargeting actually works in this new AI world and this new setup that Facebook has and show you the exact setup that we use to spend over a million dollars a month on Facebook ads for our clients. With that quick intro aside, let's go ahead and jump into the screen. All right, so as you can see, we're now inside the screen and I just want to address the elephant in the room. There are actually no remarketing or retargeting campaigns that you run anymore. Now, don't get me wrong. Can you obviously set up retargeting campaigns with specific audiences? Of course you can. But is that the way to do it with Facebook's AI technology? No. And to further that point, we actually had a client that just said, you know what, Spencer, I know you guys are just doing your old one campaign setup now, but I'm telling you, let me just launch a remarketing campaign and I bet that it's going to perform. Well, he went ahead and did that. And as you can see here, we just had some very standard audiences with our bottom of funnel hot 90 which is probably pretty familiar for most of you and what this audience is is people who have added a card people who've initiated checkout viewed content been to the website and we also had a middle of funnel ad set here with our instagram engagers and facebook engagers and video views but as you can see we ran this for about a week and it spent around 250 dollars and it got zero conversions and didn't really do anything in the account now is this a fully statistically significant test of course it isn't. But in this scenario, for this client, he just lost $250 for no reason. So the question is, is then how do you actually retarget? How, how do we set up campaigns and ad sets that can actually retarget people? And how do we set up specific ads for them? Well, the truth is you just really need one campaign to do that nowadays. And if we actually jump into this ad account here, I'll actually be able to show you how the retargeting is being done because how retargeting works nowadays is Facebook will just show the creatives that you give it to people more times. And so in this scenario here, you can see that we have our champions ad set, which again, if you don't know our one campaign setup, I'd highly recommend that you go and check out this video on our channel after you're done watching this. So that way you can optimize your ad account as well. But with that said, if we jump into our champions ad set, which has all of our top performing ads. Now for the sake of this client, I'm just gonna keep the ads blurred, but you'll be able to see based on frequency that some of these ads are actually doing retargeting. And that is how simple retargeting is in this new AI world. And let me go ahead and break that down for you because as you can see here, we have our top spending ad up here, which has spent $970 out of the $4,000 in total budget. And it has got a 3.8 X reported return and the overall frequency is a 1.97. And now what you'll notice with this ad is that the overall cost per click and the overall conversion rate is quite low. And the reason being is because this is our top of funnel prospecting ad. The C PM is $7 is spending the most and doing majority of prospecting. But what you can see here is that the overall conversion rate is lower. The average order value is also lower. And so what this tells us is that this is more of our top of funnel prospecting ad. And just to show you as well, inside of this champions ad set, we are just running fully broad. Okay, we're not doing any interest targeting. We're not excluding anything. We're just running fully broad. And so if we go back into the ad level, we actually have our second top spending ad over here. And what you'll notice is that this return on ad spend is much higher. It's a 6.26X return on ad spend, but the overall frequency is a 3.4. And for those of you that don't know what frequency means, what frequency means is the average number of times each person actually sees your ad. And in this scenario, what I can tell you confidently is that this is way more of a retargeting ad based off of three very simple metrics. Number one is frequency. Number two is CPM. 
And number three is conversion rate. As you can see, our conversion rate is nearly six times the conversion rate of our prospecting ad. And on top of that, the frequency is 1.5 times higher than our top spending ad as well. And what this tells me is that these two ads are working in tandem and Facebook is automatically doing the retargeting for me without me having to tell it what to do. All I'm doing is giving the best ads to Facebook and Facebook is figuring it out for me. Now, if we dive down a little bit deeper, you'll notice that there's another ad here that is the third top spender. And this ad also happens to be more of a prospecting ad. And well, Spencer, how do you know that? Well, the frequency is just as low as our top spending ad. Our CPM is, well, it's, it's in between both, but it's definitely still lower than this retargeting ad. And if we take a look at the overall conversion rate, it is also, again, much lower than the retargeting ad that we just discussed. But as you can imagine, if we take a look at this ad down down here, this ad is very similar to the retargeting ad. And again, how do I know that? Well, if I take a look at this ad, you can see the frequency is again in that three range. The overall return on ad spend is extremely high. The CPM is again higher than the main prospecting ads. And it's also got an extremely high conversion rate. Again, even higher than our other retargeting ad. As you've just seen in this ad set with zero interest targeting or zero custom audiences, Facebook is taking taking the creatives that we've given it and it's actually just doing the retargeting and doing the prospecting for us based off of the creative that it has. And I'm not going to lie, this is probably one of the most mis understood things in the new world of Facebook ads. Most people think targeting is still done on the ad set level where you have to manually tell Facebook to target these specific people. But the truth is, is that the targeting is actually done with your creatives. Now for the sake of this client, I'm not actually going to show what the creatives look like. But what I am going to tell you is that this image here is definitely a very bottom of funnel style image because we're just addressing one of the main objections that people have before buying. I know you can't look at it, but this ad up here that is our current top spender is actually an ad that is very top of funnel because we're talking about how it's this and people are raving about it, right? So that is a way more top of funnel ad. And again, the language, the messaging, the imagery, and the visuals that we're using in the ad is what Facebook is processing to know whether or not it should be prospecting with the ad or if it should be retargeting. Now, again, if you were hoping for some kind of custom percentage setup of video views versus viewed content or add to cart, but didn't visit this specific page, you're just wasting your time. If you actually want to retarget your users, you need to create great retargeting ads. With that said, we have honestly seen that sometimes our best prospecting and top of funnel ads just need to be shown again to specific users, which means on average, people are seeing this two times. So if you just focus on creating great ads in general, rather than retargeting specific ads, and you launch them using our DCT setup, which again is explained in the video I mentioned earlier, you will do an incredible job of retargeting users without having to stress about it. We see so many people really try to overcomplicate it and really try to tell the machine what to do, where if you just let the machine do what it is built to do and leverage the power of its AI learning, the best retargeting strategy is actually no retargeting strategy at all. It's just running broad and giving Facebook ads and it will tell you which ads are good for retargeting and what ads are good for prospecting. Now, obviously there's a lot more creative strategy that goes into that. And I'd highly recommend that you focus on creating ads that can get people that know nothing about you to come and purchase. But with that said, Facebook is smart enough to handle the retargeting for you. So rather than stressing about what audiences you need to use or like this client here and blowing $240 on a retargeting campaign. And to be honest, we've seen brands with a couple of zeros blow that kind of budget on retargeting campaigns. Just focus on the ad creatives. And if you really, really want to retarget users, then craft specific ads that would be great for retargeting. Put some kind of new customer offer on one of your ads and watch how Facebook Facebook will navigate spend and push specific amounts of spend and show it at a higher frequency. And it will just handle the retargeting for you without you having to tell it what to do. So if you really want to retarget users on Facebook with 
the new AI learning and its new algorithm, the best thing to do is just simplify your ad account and focus on creatives that will do the retargeting for you rather than telling Facebook what to do. The machine known as Facebook is incredibly smart despite all the chaos that's been going on and is only going to continue to get smarter. So with all that said, this is how you retarget with Facebook's new algorithm. And this is how you lose money with Facebook's new algorithm. So if you want to be retargeting users to get a higher return on ad spend or lower cost per purchase, you need to focus on the creatives that are going to do that retargeting for you and analyze the data to better understand what the machine is telling you. Well, if you made it over to the end, thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you got value, I just ask that you click the share button down below and send this to someone else who you also think could get value. And if you want to partner with our agency, there's a link down below for you to apply and get a custom action plan. Or if you want to be mentored by me and my team and get behind the scenes access to how we actually scale brands to a million dollars plus per month, I highly recommend that you check out Evolve, our all-in-one consultation program to learn more. Again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this week's video and I'll see you next week.